Drug Dealer Simulator 2 Demo. Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome back. Good to see you all here for a life simulator game as we have called them many times on the channel. Everything from supermarket simulators to building your own shops and even games like gas station simulator. Anything to simulate a small business and no better small business than this. We're a pharmacist, right? We, we must be. Small, small town pharmacist just trying to take the needs of the people and meet them uh, with a prescription. All right, well, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. This game, uh, by the way, there was a prequel to this, Drug Dealer, which many people played a lot. A lot of people seem to enjoy it. Uh, these are also from the same folks who made the Alaskan Road Truckers game, which was all right, and Beyond Sunset, which was really cool. And I think I may have even played that damn Narcos game, which I think is based on the TV show, question mark? Anyway, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. This is a demo, so the game's free, so if you're liking it, uh, just go ahead and play it. But I, I love the jankiness of these characters and stuff, and uh, I have been loving playing games that are like B plus or C quality uh, because in a way they're more interesting and more innovative than anything a quadruple A game can put out, right? Yeah, well, at least uh, smaller devs are taking risks and just doing wacky stuff that even the uh, quadruple A boys are trying to, you know, charge you $70 for and have a huge development team behind it. Now these games are just for dumb fun and I like it. So without further ado, let's start ourselves a brand new cartel in Drug Dealer Simulator 2, coming out sometime soon. Ooh, and it said it was even multiplayer. Yeah, we could actually allow people to join us in the demo. Wow, and that is, I can only guess, Polish. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, this demo's been out for a while, so uh, look, devs, okay? Oh, I can't even spell my own name because I got... Oh, yeah, okay, we're good. All right, create a game. Let's go. get to pick our character now uh, let's see Rick Danny Eddie I, I assume these people are all just appearances and they don't have any different special abilities I'll just go with Danny all right let's see uh, customize oh okay we can customize our character further but not in the demo so we could probably change our hair facial hair maybe even our clothing all right cool enough now, another game we played on the channel before, too, is another one called Cartel Tycoon, which allows you to build it on the large scale, almost like a city builder, where within the cities we're building small businesses like taxi uh, st stands and a bunch of other stuff, casinos, churches, ways to manipulate, very more like a grand strategy game. Hey, yo. Wow. They went all in on this one. Alright. Are we in a prison? What the hell is this? Oh, is there a fire? Uh, I'm coming. I'm, I'm level... <laughs> I'm levitating down. Oh my god, the meth lab's on fire. You idiot. Uh, oh boy. Get down here. I'm down here, bro. I, okay. Okay, F, F to take. All right. Uh, is easy and is easy. Uh, kurva. What the hell? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. You idiot, Marcus. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thanks for the help. It blew straight up in my face. I can barely see your ugly mug. Okay. And what was that? Uh, an experiment. Gone wrong. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Just can you help me with something here? Uh, sure. What do you need? Cool. Hang in there. Envelope with money. Thanks, bro. Uh, what else? You got that package for me, huh? No. Oh, come on, man. It's important. No Chill, bro. Limo. Chill. Okay, well, this doesn't look half bad. Already a goober, uh, goobering over here. Obviously making some uh, seasoning salt for more than likely fries. That'll be good. Ooh, basil. Very nice. Flashlight. Is that L? It is. Okay. 
Uh, oh boy. Yep, I'm right. We're in a prison. Oh, never mind. Yay, we escaped. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, we're in like a World War II bunker. What the hell is this? Oh. Wait, is this uh, Far Cry? Oh, I don't want to open the journal. I want to I want to explore stuff. I don't I don't want to read books. Okay, that's me. Okay, close all that stuff. We'll figure it out. These games aren't too hard, right? Okay, cool. They hear a plane. Isla Sombra. Man, in a way, I am the you. What a great place. I really miss it sometimes, you know. A lot of good memories. Well, at least until it all went to hell. It's been a bit like watching game of uh mm -hmm. never mind. I shouldn't say that. Yep. Copyright reasons, is that why, sir? It's like Witcher 3. Also, this island reminds me a bit of Just Cause, too. Far Cry and a little Just Cause. Uh, can we climb the fence? We can! Cool. I wonder if we can run from the cops. English or Polish? That is definitely Polish. Okay. So this is a Polish tropical island somewhere off the coast of America. Uh, is what I'm guessing, based on the language and the accents. Just picking up on clues that they're putting down. That's all. Oh, I'm bull boy. Are there going to be alligators, crocodiles, interiors, Chevy theaters down there? Okay. Well, at least the houses are nice and colorful. Anybody around town? Hello? Place is dead. Wow, this is deader than the uh, day before servers. Like, literally. Okay. Well, all right, everybody must be at work. Obviously, this is a hard-working town. People are uh, busy at work. Probably starting small businesses left and right. Every everybody's probably doing an accounting firm, pilots. Oh, here we go. And somebody tending to their cafe. Oh, it's a little shop. Hello. Oh, what do you got there? Some fish, bananas, oranges. Cool. Uh, hi there. Oh, a dog. Can I pet the dog? Oh, unfortunately, this game loses its game of the year status. Hello. Hey, hola. Aquí están los suministros que me pediste, Marcus. Tienes efectivo, amigo? Uh, hola, cómo estás? Me llamo Raptor. Uh, no hablo um, Polanski. I think. Yeah. Got a hop too. It's part of the language. Pasa cuando vuelva a tener más material. Estoy segura de que encontrarás algo para ti. All right, sweet. They got a like legit voice actor. I, th I was expecting AI. Hola. Item obtained. Equipment package. All right. I guess we go back to Marcus. Well, thank you, ma'am. Kind of weird that you're just selling stuff here randomly, but okay. Wait, is there a vehicle down there? Can we ride a, like, drive a boat or something? Let's see. Oh. Must be a way where we can maybe fast travel to other islands? Let's check the map. Oh, yeah, cool. There's actually other... I oh, that's great. Reminded me a little bit of, like, GTA, the beginning where you're, like, kind of quarantined to certain areas and then eventually the map opens up. It's like that in many games, but I appreciate that it's not fully open world yet, but likely is locked because of the demo. Man, I can't help but think of, uh, what the hell was that other game where everybody would, uh, you would get, like, a suit and you could, like, switch between, like, stealth, speed, armor, or strength? Oh, God. And, like, you were fighting North Koreans or something? Damn it. I know I played it before. It actually was a game that came out uh, using the Crytek engine, I think. Before uh, Hunt Showdown and stuff. Oh well, you guys will know. Alright, Marcus, we're coming back with the uh, equipment that you've requested. I'll jump this tree. Uh, can't see a damn thing. Even with the flashlight. Ah, there we go. Certainly hidden. Don't want anybody sneaking in. Someone is blocking the door. Ooh, a ghost in here with us or what? Hi, right, Marcus. I got your crap. You got that package? For I did. Me, huh? oh, nice goodies. Nice. Thanks, man. Listen, take care of the plants and handle those sales while I clean this mess, huh? Uh, sure, I can do that. No problem. Awesome. See you later. Okay. Um. What do you want me to do now, bruh? Oh! 
That's kind of cool. The bunker actually has its own stats on the lower left. Visibility, security comfort, running water, phone line, and handy space. Okay, so we can actually upgrade our hideout to be able to hide from the authorities better and stuff. Cool. And we can store stuff, too. Metal cabinet, inventory phone, unpack weed. Check the fuse box. Oh, there we go. The early days. That right, was the uh, fuse box. I'll talk to Marcus again. Maybe he's got a new quest. Uh, what up? I don't know what to do. What about that journal of yours? Anything in there, maybe? Cool. Hang in there. Thanks, bro. He's like a weird Boomhauer, isn't he? He's like Boomhauer if he talked differently and got into criminal activity. Oh, here we go. Okay, look. On the lab tray, you can unpack substances from items as well as create packages of your own. But first things first, unpack that drug package to add the dope to the substance storage. Who the hell is this guy? I got eight different voices talking to me in my head. <laughs> Ah, a cannabis indica. How quality. So you want me to put it there? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, we're we're unpacking it. And then we can also pack. Okay, cool. Drop items here to pack. No, I want to unpack. Plastic baggies. Uh, can I unpack them put into... No, okay. Oh, we can also move this station too. Great. Okay, so we can reorganize the whole bunker. So we do have a base building thing going on here. With a customizable base, we can move stuff around, probably build stuff, maybe upgrade stuff. That's cool. Gotcha. Right click to split stack. I don't think we want to do that. Uh, we got water. And the journal. Laboratory tray, furniture upgrades, the map, parkouring, flashlights, inventory, and quick slots. Production chains, we have indica tree and indica tree from a seedling. So we can actually use a grow box, drying rack, and then make all that stuff here, okay? So, can't use these yet. They've insulated it, though, nicely with, like, tinfoil and stuff. That's pretty cool. Very high-tech, bruh. Very cool. Alright, so do you want me to pack, I guess? Yeah, cool. Now you need to create smaller packages of weed for those new clients. Add new packages using the plus sign button and choose their size and quantity. Oh, okay. Uh, grams, I guess? Point two. Each of these takes point two. It's kind of confusing, actually. Uh, pack and take? We have 99 grams here. We want to use this packaging. Does this have to be on my inventory? Okay, max. Add. And we need... A stretch foil can be used for packaging substances. Pack and take. So we need to gather more material. Okay. I don't know why we need the foil. I also don't want to read the pop-ups, man. Just have the characters talk to me. That's what I want. Just guide me, bro. Sometimes you get pop-ups in games like GTA and stuff, but uh, a game that goes into a little bit more detail, that guides you is a little better. Like learning stuff in Red Dead. I could only imagine. I could only imagine. Hey, you handled these sales, right? Oh, come on, man. Hurry up. Hold on. I'm looking around. What else you got? You got some mixers here. Ooh. I see Miss April. Yeah, no missing that. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. I gave up. What do you want me to do? Uh, phone. Oh, that's our phone there. Okay. So we need to make the scheduled deliveries and check the fuse box still. And then make deliveries with the sales. Well, probably a good idea to follow the main story stuff, actually. Because that might unlock other stuff for us. So, where's the fuse box? Alright, cool. Don't need this stupid flashlight anymore. Job done. And next is... Make the scheduled deliveries. Meet with Marcus's friends in the Mark locations to deliver the order dope. Well, then we need to make the dope. 
Any details on how much? Mendoza, Rodriguez, and Ramirez. And they want three grams each. Okay, so let's try to do that then. So we have 99. Drop items here to unpack. Can I take this back and put it in my inventory? I think it has to be here. Oh, that's one that's packed. Okay. Well, we got one done. But the other ones are stating that they need... Oh, we have two now. We have to do this like each individual time? Or can I type in a number? Like, what if, what if I do uh, f one gram? Well, we just need... What was it? Three per person? Hold on. Oh, the objective popped up there briefly. So it's three per person. Okay, so we need just, like, basically nine. Although it's weird that we're not using baggies. Like, there's still 20 bags there. So I was very confused as to what was getting used and what wasn't. So we just need to do um, seven more. Oh, look at that. Polska again. Okay. So we want w weight one, quantity... We want seven more. And then... Pack and take. Okay, now I have nine. Cool. So now I just got to go to the people. Okay, so we got a uh, person on the beach, person on that road, and a person hanging out in the north. All right. Marcus is so damn lazy. Cops are going to be right here. Oh. What if there's a day-night cycle? Certainly should be, right? We should do all of our shady business, maybe not in broad daylight, Marcus. Oh, there's cows. All right, back down to the neighbors. Okay, so the first one's on the beach. We track. Let's see if there's tracking. Nope. Map. Uh, toggle transparency. Add custom marker. Well, there are markers on the uh, mini, uh, the mini map there, so that's fine. Woo! Ten points. All right, same lady as before. Hello. Bienvenido de nuevo. ¿Necesitas algo? Um. Adiós. Oh, hola. ¿Eso es todo? Bueno, lástima. Adiós. How do I give her the weed? I don't want to just sell it. I want to turn it in for the quest. I hope it doesn't do the thing where, like, I sell it, but it doesn't count for the quest. It says to deliver. Hola. ¿Ahora qué necesitas? Uh, I have a question. Claro, chico. ¿Qué necesitas? What's your question? I can't ask a question. Okay. Hold tab to open phone. Can't do that. Wait, 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 wait. Can I ask like an AI? Hold on. Wait a minute. Bienvenido de nuevo. ¿Necesitas algo? Ah, una pregunta. Search tag. Saber? Delivery? No. Oh, hola. Has vuelto para comprar. Oh, no, nunca había... Bienvenido de nuevo. ¿Necesitas algo? Adiós, mi. Hola, ahora que necesitas... Alright, let's just sell to her. That's probably the way it's going to work. So we need to sell... Uh, three of these. She's only interested in those things, though. I can't... Sell you the quest item? Maybe it's somebody else in this area. Her name is... Oh, hola. Has vuelto para yeah, Rodriguez. Para now let's go talk to the other people. Can't talk to them. Oh, there we go. Good to see you, amigo. You got it? Yeah. 
Drop doesn't match the order. Check the amount type and type of product. Oh, you can look around for the cops? Wait, you want five grams? What the hell? That's not what the order said. Are you some other guy? Oh, damn it. It does say five. Son of a bitch. All right. But wait a minute. Shouldn't I just be able to give him some? Oh, my God. I got to, like, split this in my inventory. How tedious. Can I just give him five from the nine stack? There. Ah, there you are. Yeah, hola. Here. Okay, we can do it this way. Yay! All right, I figured it out. Cool. All right, so my math was off. But so is the game's weird trading system. Um, let's go trade with the other person. Wait. It's not marked with the... Wait, where'd he go? Buenos dias, amigo. You got the dope, see? Bro. There we go. Oh, my God. Had to like confirm, like, how are you supposed to deal drugs when it's got you got to sign paperwork? Like, do you agree? Do you accept our cook cookies? It's like, bro, just let me trade with you. I'm not accepting an EULA. Oh boy. Okay, who's next? Ramirez. Ah, we got to defend Burger Town. Here, here's three. Thank you. All right, let's go back up to the bunker. I got to make, uh, what is it, five or f three? Okay, so we got to make four more. Or what? Two more. Cops are got to be, they, they got to be around. I didn't even look that second time for cops. Okay. Back to base. All right, I see in the lower right corner it is um, almost uh, getting close to what? Four, is that four o'clock? Cartel progress successfully saved. Good. All right. Sorry, uh, Marcus. I'm learning my first day here, bruh. Do I need to do two more? Wait. Now I have three. I want five. Okay, I was making it. Never mind. I was doing it over and over because I didn't see the number going up. It's not like we're not going to deal more anyway. Uh, this drug dealer simulator, after all. we got to deal more. We're good. We'll, uh, there's one for me and Marcus afterwards. I'm sure... What is that, oregano? We're going to have a pizza. We're just adding a little flavor to the pie, you know? Not wrong with that little basil. Some people put rosemary, you know, on like uh, sausage and such a little bit. Or in it. Nothing wrong with making your own pizza topping and then, you know, adding it later on. A lot of people did that. I think a guy named, what was it, Tony Montana did that? He's famous. He's in a lot of movies. He's better than Al Pacino. That guy's the worst. Okay, cool. Oh, God. Is it going to storm? It got all dark. 
Okay. All right. I figured it out, ma'am. Thank you for your patience. I need to uh, figure out how to trade with you, though. Because she's a little different. What if I give you these? No? Hola. Ahora que necesitas. No. Ni de. Bienvenido de nuevo. Necesitas. Pregunta. Tal vez sepa algo. Hola. Ahora que necesitas. I don't have any questions for you, ma'am, but I am looking to drug deal with you. Hey, where'd the guy uh, using the broom go? Open trade or start conversation. Is that a shopping bag? She's selling a plastic bag. For what? Expand your quick slots significantly, but also negatively affect your movement and visibility. Huh. Hey, Sausage. Bus ticket? Where's that going? Out of town. Drag items here and then to the basket. To add them to the basket. That's if we want to buy. What the hell? Carlos Mendoza on the small island. Wait a minute. You're not Carlos. Even the, Are you Carlos? I've been trying to talk to this guy. It's a whole different person. Where the hell's Carlos? This guy? The whole time? Carlos, you son of a... All right, here's your five stuff. It It's kind of cool, though. It gives you a proximity of, like, where the person may be. So it's like, hey, let's meet at the docks, and then you got to go find exactly where they're standing at the docks. All right, that's kind of cool. Pardon me, sir. Okay, now, Marcus's homies are one thing, but the rest of the clients later, they won't wait for you forever. Open the phone to arrange meetings with the other clients. You don't have to do it immediately, but, you know, the sooner the better. You can either set the meeting ASAP or pick a convenient time for the delivery. But when the client's waiting for you, psh, you better hurry. Huh. I like that. Hey, uh, man, you got to hurry up. You got to get on your phone. Whenever it's convenient for you, but you got to hurry whenever you want to. <laughs> All right, so now we're supposed to do things in time. All right. Buy a bag of fertilizer. Well, now we're now we're ramping up the productivity. That's 300 meters away. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, I guess not. Is this modern times? We're using like a Nokia, but those things are so da uh, damn timeless. I wouldn't be surprised if people are still using them. Um, can we swim? Or is this a ferry? 850. Ferry's on the other side. Go to the ferryman. No, you come over here. <laughs> Hello? Great oh. Day for swim. I thought he was over there. Wow, that's like Oregon Trail. Boom. Thank you, sir. Can we drive cars? No. Am I getting a call? Okay, we could take these orders whenever we want, but then we gotta schedule them and stuff. Well, that's cool and all, but I don't know if I have anything much more to supply. I mean... We did, like, use maybe 10 ounces of what we had, so we're probably down to, like, 90 or 80-something, but... I'd rather start growing while we're also selling. So that way, while things are growing, which seems like it'll take time, then we can also be selling. And then when we're done selling, then we can start manufacturing. 
Wow, this is totally like my summer car. What, what do you got here? <laughs> just rolls. The bread just sitting around. Okay. Coffee. Uh-huh. Jesse Black Tea. Oh, some bananas, watermelon. Is that potato? Patat? Red potatoes. Ooh. Hola. I need to buy fertilizer Come from back. you. Need anything? Goodbye, friend. Come back soon. Uh, what does fertilizer look like? There we go. How much, though? Let's double check. A bag. Okay, just a bag. Came back to buy something? Yep, we're looking to buy one. Okay, bye. All right, unpack the bag of fertilizer. Okay. Here? No. We got to go back to base where the unpacking thing is. All right. So we're on the northern island now, but it looks like there's actually a sandbar that goes up here. But considering all these roads, I I'd assume there's a way to try uh, po possibly try to drive around. What is, what is that? Weed and equipment store. General store. The rib motorboat. Oh. And motorboat. I'm assuming that those are things that we have... To, that they're, they're fast travel points, I think. I don't think we get to drive a boat in this game. That'd be rather cool. But that ain't gonna happen. Bus stop. Did the buses actually work? Ooh, they do work. I don't have any tickets. Oh, I gotta buy one at the shop, right? So first... Oh. Hold on, we can break into this guy's car. Oh, damn it, I need a crowbar. Apparently somebody from the European Union is vi visiting this Polish island in the middle of the Caribbean. Or somewhere in America or off the coast. Hey, kitty. Kitty, kitty. No. Is he a guard dog for this uh, warehouse? Can we break in here? I have a feeling with a, a game that simulates a life of crime, we might be able to do all sorts of crimes. Yep. So it looks like we can break in there with a crowbar, break into the car with a crowbar. Got to make sure this guy doesn't see, though. So maybe we come in at night. I don't know if, it, if anybody has a crowbar, if we can find one. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. All right, let's go back. Great day for a swim. Yep. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, the water is nice. Hmm. This game's actually growing on me. The uh, problem with a lot of these games is they're weird and quirky. And as you see me struggling with some of these things for the first time, it's like uh, sometimes it's painfully obvious. Other times it's like, is it like that other game I've played? And when you've played like a hundred of these games, you get what they're going for, but it's like, okay, what are they going to want me to do? They want me to talk to somebody first. They want me to go to the trade menu first. Yeah, they're all different. They're all different. Oh, was that a treasure chest? Oh, the loot goblin in me. You got me good. <laughs> I thought that was like a classic pirate treasure chest, but no. Just nuclear waste. I can smell strawberries. Probably not a good thing. Alright, back up the hill. Back over the fence. Sun is going down. It's a Saturday. Nope. There we go. Yay. Alright, so imagine this co-op too, by the way. This might be good because somebody can do all the management of the base and building and gathering materials and someone else can do all the selling and chatting with people and activating quests. So that way it kind of takes out the whole tedious travel. However, our character might possibly... Uh oh, there we go. 
uh, might possibly get tired or something like that. I don't I don't know if we have character stats that like require us to eat and drink. I'm assuming though we do have health. There is water here. But I don't see character stats for myself. But we can actually armor up and stuff. We got a walkie-talkie, shoes, backpack. We do have seeds and stuff. So there maybe uh, well they they did show potatoes, so maybe there's a way we can actually grow food and or make our own. Kind of. Maybe that'd be cool. Growing some stuff, may as well grow other. Grow more marijuana. Right, sale time's over. The clients will stop making orders till the next morning. Now, take your time to prepare yourself for the next business day. Stack up on supply. Produce more dope if you need to. Plan your strategy. When you decide that you're ready, find a bed to sleep over till the morning. Nights are also the perfect time for smuggling, loot and break-in, sabotages. But, you know, we'll get to that part later, too. Okay. Uh, what now? We're going to do something shady? Break-ins and stuff? Smuggling, too. He said looting, so I'm... Uh, I guess looting is a little different than breaking in. All right, let's grow some more. Ooh. Now nah, I'm not going to read. I'm going to figure it out. Stay frustrated. Okay, so... Okay, so seed plus fertilizer and water equals 35. Output is 25. Okay. Oh, we take the whole plant. That's cool. All right, now look. Pay attention. Lab equipment uses and produces both items as well as substances. Items are straightforward, but notice that the substances are listed in the substance storage section. Always check the recipe and make sure what type of ingredient you need to run it. Okay, so we're supposed to have a kilo of uh, fertilizer and 200 grams of water in our inventory, and then that will give us what we need. Which is the growing. Okay, so we're growing something. It'll take 16 more minutes. That's fine. All right, what else, sir? Harvest and dry cannabis flowers. Okay. Oh. Oh. Looks like uh, we have two of them. Talk to Marcus. Marcus, we've been doing everything, you lazy turd. Okay, great. Now you can go and visit Lonzo to talk about expansion. I'd go change if I were you. You, uh, look like shit. Well, thank you. I guess. Okay, got it. Oh, yeah. Take these amber gemstones and sell them to Helen on your way out. Always some extra cash will come in handy. She makes jewelry out of that? Okay. No Criminal level two. All right. Uh, meet Lonzo in his office. Consider changing your clothes. Talk to Helen. Uh, how do I change? Yep, that'd be it. Oh, yeah, the cloth collection. You can dress up and access your collection from any wardrobe on the map. Clothes are not just for decoration, though. They also affect your stats, the size of your inventory, as well as quick access slots. Besides cosmetics... You should also dress according to your play style and current pursued task. Hmm. So they're saying we can do builds where we maybe prioritize melee or ones where we prioritize stealth? Okay. By the way, there's three beds here. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's like an MG post right here. Oh, that's nice. Boop. Okay. Um, what next? Back to the phone. Talk to Helen and Alonzo, Laszlo, whomever, in their office. So much running around. Oh, nope. I'm going right back home. We're going to sleep. Nope. Okay, so back up to the beds. Let's see if we can actually skip night. Or if there's a reason to sleep. Does it give us stamina bonuses? God, look at that horrifically nightmarish mattress. Oh, yeah, and you're going to need your friends here, too, at the bunker to be able to sleep, too. So you're going to have to sleep through the night together. Okay, we're getting a bunch of orders now on the phone, but I think we'll just keep doing the main stuff because it'll bring us to new places. Money's good, but it's a demo. 
Can't really do much with that. But story. I I could do something with that. Okay. Okay, now. Where's our first secondary objective? Okay. So Helen is the lady at the shop, I think. I talked to her like seven times. I don't remember her name. Was it uh, Rodriguez? No, that, that was the other guy. Well, maybe. más dinero busca piedras de ámbar en las playas puedo comprártelas también te compraría cestas hechas a mano dinero dinero hello ma'am marcus told me to give you amber estoy segura de que encontrarás algo para ti find and collect amber stones well here's some ah so it's showing that we can constantly sell these to her for cash okay um the hell how do I give this lady oh that's how you do that wait no I want to I want to give her max we have three can I not give her three How weird. I had to sell them one at a time. Whatever. Anyway, all done. Thank you, Helen. So if we find those on our way, we get more money. And with those, we can uh, buy more fertilizer, seeds, maybe even fresh water. All right, on to main story stuff 300 meters away. Now, wait a minute. He's on a different island, right? Is this where we took the ferry before? Yeah, let's do that. Sandbar seems cool, but only if there was like a croc. Oh, wait a minute. Come okay, on. look, if you got trouble finding stuff around, use the Enviro sense. I want to take the that boat. Hot key and see the magic happen. It will mark points of interest at short distances around you. I'm good. Day for a swim. No bridge, only the ferry. And yeah, I want to be able to beat the crap out of stuff. Uh, we can get a crowbar, so we got a little bit of Thief Simulator in this one. I did enjoy Thief Simulator 80s, another great game on the channel. You might enjoy that's a, another, I don't know, in a way, a life sim, as they sometimes... Um, <coughs> I feel like ATS Euro Truck Flight Sim are, like, true sims, but life sims are these, like, janky, danky, weird things that make you smile. They're hard to put a finger on, but they definitely... Uh, I don't know, there's another one called, like, Chef Life. There's tons of these games, by the way. List them down below. If you've watched this far in the video, you're a true fan. Thank you for watching more than one second. That's a true fan right there. But um, name some other games down below that are, like, life simulators, including, like, My Summer Car. That counts. Um, I wouldn't say, though, like, the, the Sims. Some of the non, you know, The Sims is incredibly popular. But what about games that don't often get uh, shout-outs? So, like, definitely... Uh, uh, some that I mentioned, like American Thief, 80s, and some other stuff. Uh, of course, it's more of a stealth simulator, but it's got this weird story element to it. Like Mr. Prepper. Oh, I should have dropped on the inside of their house. Okay, let's try that one more again. All right, hello? Hi, Clark Kent? Is that you? I just walk in this guy's house. It feels like an office building.
Nobody here. Alright, back here. Okay, that's the guy I need to talk to. Oh. Well, you could have greeted me, sir, and told me that he will see me now. And what a weird desk. You have, like, a somebody who sits next to you? Do I know you? No? Right, right. Nice to meet you, I guess. I'm Lanzo. If you want to do affairs on Archipel, you need to go through me. I will help you split the word, but I'll take a percentage of your income. Questions? Yeah, uh, are you French or Polish trying to be French? I have a lot. I mean, it's a cool accent, dude. I'm just curious. Isn't that Jemmy Khan? Jemmy, is that how you, that's, is that Jemmy? Is that, okay, now, now this game's got me percentage. Yeah, tell me about this word. Wait. Whoa, look at you. We've just met, and you're déjà acting like a petit malin. What? I was born in Haiti. All right. Cool. One more thing. I got you, Bureau. Down the hall, on the left. Make yourself a l'aise. A lot of French you're talking. All right, listen I up. I like it. To efficiently deal and obtain clients on certain territories, you'll need influential guys like Lonzo here. They'll help you spread the word, gain new contacts, build your reputation, you know, that sort of thing. Keep your reputation high and territories will bear fruit. Remember that. All right. Way too many text-based tutorial pop-ups on the left side. I mean, you're getting audio intel, you're getting world intel, you're getting pop-up intel. There's a lot to learn in these games for sure. All right, uh, what's next? Find and collect amber stones. Okay, we can do that at any time. Listen to the recorded message and create an offer on the archipelago. Recorded message. Where? Marcus left you a recorded message with important instructions. Use the office phone or a phone booth to listen to the message. Uh, you mean like an office phone here? Oh, wow. I just kicked that door in. That was sweet. If you sprint, you can literally just bust doors down. Yeah, that place is a mess, but it's just for the time being. Always up a notch from that filthy bunker, though. True. Anyway, go out there, earn some money so you can move to a normal place of your own. Yo, man, listen up. Could you pick up the boat engine from repairs on your way back from the Twins' crib? Also, Lonzo mentioned a friend of his who has some cheap houses for sale. Maybe it's worth looking into, huh? Out. Okay, so an upgrade from the bunker to a cheap house. I think the bunker maybe is a better idea, honestly, for stealth. But a boat motor, okay, so maybe we do get a vehicle. Also, really sounds like Jesse Pinkman. Now I'm starting to feel the Jesse Pinkman vibe. All right, recorded message complete. So now what, we can buy a house? We, we, dole, we, we doled out one drug. Now we're millionaires. Gather cash to fix the lab. We need 50000 uh, Create an offer on the archipelago. On the archipelago? We're buying the whole archipelago? Visit the botanist. Retrieve the uh, repaired motorboat engine. We also need money for them. Is that saying 830,000? Like there's an 8? This says 8 space 50,000. This says 8 space 30,000. What the hell does that mean? Am I am I misreading things? Or is that B is in the currency? Wow, the money actually has weight. I th I think that's a B as in like, you know, USD or KR for kroner, you know, that kind of thing. Peso, etc. Alright, well, where's that boat motor? Let's go to that one. So, uh, visit the botanist. So, we gotta go to blue. Maybe we get a boat. So, they're up in the north. And then we're supposed to talk to that guy about placing an order or an offer, but we're gonna have to do all the side quests then. So, each day, as we mentioned earlier, or as they mentioned, um, road blockades. Local thugs and gains blockade roads. 
Traving, traveling on land is risky? Okay. Don't really have another choice, I think. Anyway. Oh, there they are. Are those thugs? Yeah, hey, I don't know. See that blockade? It ain't there for the giggles. The locals set these around on roads and on borders of territories. Local bandits pay close attention to who's passing, sometimes even set out people to stand on the checkpoint. So look out. Before you earn a name in a new area, I'd stick to boats for safety. Transporting valuable oh. stuff using roads is also risky, so keep that in mind. Alright, legit cool. That goes back to what I was saying about like the whole GTA 5 thing where it's like, yeah, if we go through an area, they're going to be mad on foot, so we need the boat. So I guess we got to do this to get the boat engine. Bypass all that. <laughs> and now it's like my summer car again. So the botanist is also a small engine connoisseur. Wait, there's a bus stop here in the middle of nowhere? Bro, there's a bus stop here with no... Shouldn't that be down there at least? What's the bus going to do? All-wheel drive diff lock up the hill? Alright. Is this the right place? Looks like it. That is dangerous. What the hell? Hi. Do I know you? Marcus sent me. <laughs> I have mistaken me for my brother. He's sitting over there. Come by when I restock. I'm sure you'll find something for yourself. Hello? Do I know you? By the way, why are you both wearing uh skin colored shirts? It's so weird. With black pla Do I know <laughs> black you? pants and like red Nikes on? What are you guys doing? Gotcha. You can buy seeds and other goodies from me. You can also talk to my twin brother. He sells lab equipment, you know. Okay. Oh hello. Now what do you need? Goodbye, friend. Thank Come you. Back soon. Mm hmm Hello. Now what do you need? Uh an explanation as to what I'm supposed to do next. Okay, so we need uh money. Mm hmm Okay, so it's thirty thousand for that, fifty thousand. So that's what it is, it's the currency marker. So currently we have twenty eight thousand, so we're short some cash. So if we had done a drug deal and or maybe some other side quest or something, maybe we would have gotten the money for that to transport. Getting that boat engine would be a lot easier for us. I want to now see how the hell we can break in with a crowbar. Wait, did he... He said his brother has equipment. Can I... What do you got? Oh, hello there. I'm going to rob from this dude, literally sell his stuff back. Goodbye, friend. Come back soon. Oh, no. He's only got, yeah, growing equipment. No tools. Oh, hello there. That's it. Well, pithy. Goodbye. Baggy, rolling papers, flower pot. We got fertilizer, glass pipes, vials, hydroponic elements, UV bulbs, cannabis. Oh, oh, the actual processed product, and then also seeds. I wanted to buy a crowbar from somebody. I'm sure that alerts the gangs or whatnot, and then we get into trouble. It doesn't look like there's any combat we can do at the moment. Oh, as we're running, we can look behind us. That's crazy. Okay. Um. Hi. Do I sell to you? I guess not. Uh, good open world. Certainly going to be a tedious game in terms of like getting started, but once you're rolling, it's going to be a lot more interesting. Pun intended. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to base. Uh, we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. Yep. Janky, weird, confusing. That is the par of the course for games like these. I want to see more of Drug Dealer Simulator 2. And I remember playing the first game and being confused as hell. And there was like other games like Weed Shot. There, there's all these weird games where you can grow and sell and interact and wander and... 
do quests, and this is certainly one that I'm going to keep on my radar. It's a game that I like as just being dumb fun. Seriously. I say that about Helldivers, too, but there certainly is a difference between Drug Dealer Simulator 2 and that game. But, yeah, it's not that they're bad. Could be quite good. All right, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Play the demo for free. Let me know what you think as well. Uh, just a taste of what's to come for a game that might be interesting to try in the future. Goodbye.